Good morning, world. Good morning. Meet Gabby. Hello. We're on a, uh, a hike from Brighton to Beachy Head and then some. And, uh, oh, I don't know. I never know what to say to these things. It's a little box, let's not be scared. It's a little box. box. It is a beautiful morning. That's going to be interesting. How long has it been since you did anything like this, Gabby? I was counting on my way to you, and I think it's been about seven years, if not a bit more. Seven years. It doesn't feel like that long. Oh my word. She told me earlier though that she did a uh, 67 kilometer hike in a, in a day once. Well, less than a day really. Half a day. So she's going to put me to shame today. First victims of the journey. Yeah, Gabby's bubble fell off. It's going to be one of those days. We're being a bit naughty, but we couldn't resist. Well, be careful of the uh, the actual line itself, because I'm not sure if it is electric or not. Okay. I'm guessing that middle one is, if it's on. And we're here. <laughs> that was fun. No. I enjoyed that. There's nothing running, no one was in any danger. This is cool though. This is very pretty. And the sea's so calm. There's quite a lot of boats going out as well, so I reckon the marina's uh, busy today. We're just coming up to the marina again. Um, we're not looking to push ourselves too hard today. I think we're going to relax for the most part and take it easy, enjoy the sights. Get my drone out soon. That's okay. I'm gonna. I'm really gonna piss Gabby off today. No. Many many years back, I actually came down here with a good friend Oliver, and uh, graffiti on here somewhere. Although I think it's long since been covered up. But it's a shame they're getting rid of that because that was actually the. Um, that was like the free graffiti wall that you could legally come and spray, and quite a lot of people used to come down here. And, I mean, it's better to have somewhere to do it than to do it on a list of buildings or something. Do you know right now, for example, where we're going? Yeah, we're not... Yeah. Uh, no, because I've well, never really been onto these things. You say, do I know where we're going? Yeah. You're not going to like the answer. <laughs> oh, no. Because don't I don't, we can't <laughs> actually go anywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> but I want to have a very quick look. Although it says... Wall full, please wait here. Oh, we can't even go on there. Yeah, they're all fishing. Hundreds of them. Maybe it's their job. Maybe they're allowed to oh. go because they're obliged to fish. See, I've actually got the voice of reason with me on this trip now. I can ask all these stupid questions and you can actually give me answers. <laughs> which are logical. I'm not fishing. Look, we are not allowed. What? Other than the company, you were right. Ah, look at that. No fishing other than the company. No person shall fish by rod, line or net. <laughs> so on my last failed hike, I didn't realise that there was actually, a, supposedly there's a walkway all the way from here to Salt Bain. I'm not sure if it's actually open yet, but if it is, that'd be a really, really nice stretch. It'd be like three miles just along the cliffs. Quite nice. It really, really smelt like sewage down on the front <laughs> just after you uh, stuck, like told me about that photo. <laughs> oh my God. You know, that made me think about why would they still be hunting fish? Oh. 
my sage. Crazy. I had no idea. Right, we're not allowed to return today until we find a hand axe. <laughs> Would you believe you can get woolly mammoths down on the beach in Brighton? Using great imagination, yes. <laughs> That's what the sign said. It said you can find woolly mammoths down here. Also quite creepy. I'm too scared to do that. I'm too much of a wuss. <laughs> People like Shai put me to shame. <laughs> Climbing on like a hundred foot rusty crane in the middle of Ukraine or something. You just... Nope. <laughs> Not for me. That's what makes you scared. Ah, yes. I blame it on the bag. It just makes you down for the... What is it? Swans. Swans? How much get? Oh, my hometown is full of swans. But like by your doorstep. I know. Oh yeah, I suppose so. They've got all these beautiful little gardens and stuff as well. This place makes me want to cry. It looks like they could do movies here. There's like a little little slice of Italy, like you say, or France or something. Venice. 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 Not that I've ever been. Paris. Have you been down there? Not this bit. It was uh, just further up and round the corner slightly that I lost my last camera. I was sitting down here and the spray came off. Well, it wasn't like this further down, but a big spray came up and just soaked the camera. Oh, yeah. Sea, sea spray. I should... Uh, well, I'll, I'll explain very quickly. I should explain. I got a new camera. I'm not a wealthy man. And unfortunately, I'll be paying them both off till 2024. But it keeps me sane and allows me to do stuff like this. So, new camera. Yeah, basically, I was uh, just just round the bend, and I was filming a time lapse of the waves because it really looked really smart and like it's hard to explain without visuals. I'll show you when we get there. But um, yeah, big spray came up from the sea. It was like, you know when you can see a body of water in the air? Mm -hmm. It just landed so perfectly, like, encapsulating the, in the lens. So, yeah, the whole thing was knackered. But I've actually, I've insured this one for £29 now, for a year, so... Yeah, I can't afford another one, so if anything happens to this, buggered. I might have to uh, get the drone out if you don't mind. Yes, sure. Working, you do just get knackered, whatever it is you're doing, because nobody mm. wants to work, do they? Mm. But then doing something like this, getting up at the same time in the morning, <laughs> but and to do something even more like strenuous than work, uh, but because it's still nicer. Than but it's work. yeah, it's nicer because it's for us, I suppose. It's weird. Yeah. I don't feel tired and achy today, but I've been so tired and achy a week. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I haven't been keeping an eye on the time either, so I don't know how it's well we're doing. Very early still. Very early. I looked earlier. It was half eight. I made Gabby get up at six o'clock this morning. <laughs> it's nice. On a Sunday. Yeah. Cool. Getting quite near now to where uh, where I packed it in on the last attempt. Although that was more due to the camera than anything. Someone said yesterday the avian flu is really affecting the bird population around the coast and yeah, so since they said that I've really noticed there are barely any birds around 
I've seen about five seagulls in the morning. It is quite worrying. Yeah, couldn't have asked for a better morning really to be doing this. I hope I don't make Gabby too uncomfortable with the camera. But it's, yeah, it's nice to be doing this with a friend. Keep each other motivated, entertained. And as we said earlier, you don't really, when you're doing something like this for pleasure, you don't really think about it too much. Yeah, we're going to uh, stock up on a few supplies when we get into New Haven. Because um, that's sort of the last coastal city, really. Yeah. Yeah, we'll stock up on supplies, aren't we? Because I forgot the mashed potato. Forgot our dinner. Oh no. I have some soup. Gabby's brought us soup. I've brought us snacks, some sausages, and beans. And which would be nice. Oh, well, it'd be nice when we get onto the cliffs near Berlin Gap, maybe we can like, make dinner. And... Yeah, it'd be cool. I did forget plates though, so we're both gonna oh. have to we're gonna have to eat out of saucepans, but that's okay. That's, um, that's what you do. See, I brought the soup, but I don't have. What do I not have? That's food. I've got a spoon. <laughs> I brought a spoon, so you can have a spoon. It was all meant to be like that. Yeah. Not over a crowd. The bag. No need the spoon. Well, no, you have the spoon, but we'll just eat out of the saucepan. We'll eat out of the tin. You can have the soup in the tin. I'll just eat the can up. <laughs> hey look, they're on like a little island out in the sea. Can you see that? Yeah. We're very close now to where my camera died. Oh no, we're going to have to stay quiet for a minute. <laughs> I did actually debate bringing the old one with me. I oh. thought, oh I could put it in like a little box with a load of stuff and send it off like a Viking funeral. <laughs> but I don't really want to pollute the sea with a camera, so... No. But it would have been funny. <laughs> we've done quite well, really. I think we've done about five miles already now. Right. In miles, how long is Arctic? In miles? Mm -hmm. So... If we stick to the path, uh, the coastal path, the whole way, mm -hmm. it's about 26 miles, which I looked it up and it's just under 42 kilometres. 42 then? Just under 42. So oh. it's, it's two thirds of the, the one you did before. Nice. We're I've just been under. saying 30, 60 people. This is nice. 36. It's more than that. Do yeah. they do everything in kilometres in Lithuania? Yeah. Is that a European thing as well? Why is England the only one that... England's all different. We're stupid. With the cargo. Yeah. <laughs> all the measurements <laughs> are different. What's an ounce? I don't know. I still don't 28 know. grams. See, it's useless 28 grams. I only know that from my teenage years. Buying fish herbs. <laughs> yeah, fish herbs. Sure. Fish herbs. <laughs> Dill. Dillweed. It's really good. <laughs> really seasons that fish. The vegetarian fish that I like to eat. <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, no, I think I was a bit further back. Yeah. That's fantastic. But you see those white cliffs in the very, very distance. Yeah. I think that's uh, that's like Seven Sisters area. I think. I might be totally wrong. Because my geography isn't very good. <laughs> that's fine. We'll figure it out soon. But we've already made it further than I did on my last adventure. So. Mm -hmm. Celebration. Celebration. Well, we're going to get a pint. I brought the bowl. Gabby wants a pint already. It's only bloody 10 in the morning. No pint. Alcoholic. I want a bowl and play the basketball. Oh. This is the only spare court I've seen in Brighton at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would have been They're quite fun. so busy. I wish I'd sometimes just hike from the basketball court. <laughs> Why is that like That'll be our next mission. Next we'll make, yeah, we'll do that our next mission. We'll get Thomas and everyone to join us. <laughs> and we'll play a game of like, early morning basketball. And then make them hike to here <laughs> to get to the court. She's cruel, isn't she? No. Cruel. Just passionate about basketball. <laughs> I can imagine, really. Do you play basketball then? Yeah. Do you actually? Oh, I didn't know. I had no idea. 
Back from school, I have an award for third place in school. Oh, it's yeah. not a great award because it's in school, but it's right. An it's award is an award. It's an award. It's a nice, what do you call Goblet. <laughs> <laughs> I always tried at sports, but I was never confident enough. I think, I think that's what made me confident, generally. It's probably because of the parents, I guess. They like biking. My dad's crazy about sports, that's why. Yeah. There is a proper picture of me this big. Like, he lit me with a basketball to the hoop, and I'm like, eh. Can't reach it, of course. <laughs> Basketball bigger than my head. No, nah, surely it. not. It was bigger than my surely head. Surely not. It was You've got a massive head. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's a normal size head. Two days ago, my mum said my head's small. Speaking of brains, right, I had this thought the other day. Is the brain not technically five dimensional? It's like a TARDIS, it's a set size, but it's capable of like imagining so much. So in some ways, it's almost like this infinite, infinite potential encased in like a tiny little box. I don't know, I'm chatting shit. It's too early in the morning. I said earlier, there weren't too many birds about, but I've been proven wrong here, thankfully. I'm crazy. So you're going to have to repeat that now, because it was good. The whole thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so Jack made me wake up early in I the didn't morning. make you wake up that way. And it, my brain was crazy. And um, as I was walking to meet him, um, I came up with this thought that I'm carrying a bag that's a bit heavy, because it's got two liters of water in it and some food. And then I thought it could have been lighter, but I wouldn't carry any food or any water, and it'd be easier to walk because there'd be no weight. But I have to carry that weight in order to survive the long walk. So I thought it's a bit like life there. So very, can, good, very good metaphor for life. You can carry life. nothing. You can go with no bag, with no weight ever, and make a walk real fast and be all easy. But you miss a lot of experience, I yeah. suppose. You, you miss everything and your life doesn't last very long. That's the thing. Like the walk wouldn't last long without water or food, with no weight, with no nothing in my bag. But because I carry my weight, I can last longer. And the burden is essential to survival. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting day for you lot. <laughs> <laughs> or an incredibly boring one. <laughs> What made you want to do this with me then, really? Oh, I miss walking. I miss moving. So interview today, you can all get a bit no. cultured on what like life is like in Lithuania. What? Oh. <laughs> it's lovely. It's full of active people. We used to have a community in my town that would organise such things. The hikes or, or going canoeing or runs of riding a bike, everything. Hello. Hello, Chiki. Hello. <laughs> Is a big fluff. Big old fluff. I'm quite fascinated by that part of the world, really, because it's probably one of the least reported on. True. And you don't hear, you just don't really hear a lot. That's why I love watching Shai's videos and stuff, because he sneaks into all these countries, but it really like, shows off what the, what the history was like, the culture and the oppression and stuff, which is really sad, but it's also fascinating. Yeah, it's really, really special and unique. Not very popular, but yeah, well, it's, it's good to edu educate yourself on such things because uh, some stuff is just really, really unbelievable from from our history. To not expand yet, <laughs> at least if culture stays, then then that's what matters. Because it's easy to forget history, but we never really should. No, it's definitely too not. And it's been too hard for other people. So we can't really forget. It's frustrating though, because we live in such a, an amazing time where we have access to so much information and so much history. And if anything, it just proves that like throughout history, everyone has been oppressed. 
In a way. And like it is literally just repeating itself and repeating itself. But it's weird because now we can actually see that. No, but we just days, still we put up with it. Like, it's really interesting because these days we're oppressed by ourselves. Yeah, we literally are Mostly. oppressed by ourselves. Well, everyone is unhappy in their own way, aren't they? Yeah. Aspiring to do too much when really we need we need to aspire to have simple lives. I think. That's cool. Should we have a little wander? Yes. Go on. Sure, Is this still in the valley? No. No, no that, was, that was miles away. I think it was back that one. Right? It just looks very strange from afar. What is this obsession people have with putting padlocks on things as well? Gabby's tempted to break the rules. There is no sign. There is no sign. I'm not breaking any rules. But no. Go for it, mate. It's a down, look down. Oh, actually, yeah, no, that's true, isn't it? Because then you get all the motion blur. There's nowhere to look, it's just. <laughs> now that should be slippery, so careful. It's going to be very slippery. Or I'll blame your heavy bag <laughs> for sinking you down. <laughs> I'll lose another camera to the sea. Yeah, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, look, actually, that's an interesting look. If you look down, I'm oh, sorry. Ah, oh, little uh, that's barnacles. Is that what they're called? They're very hard now, I understand. Yeah, millions of years we'll be digging them up as fossils. Yeah. This is beautiful. Oh, one of Davy Jones as well. I reckon for now we should probably head back up onto the road because it doesn't look like there's anything further down that way. There is some kind of way there. You reckon? The cliff. Do you want to do that? It might be harder going. I see anything. Yes. You know what? Because we can go up. Oh. Yeah, the path did end there. Right, so we're just going to walk up onto the top of the cliffs now and then, yeah, continue our journey until we can get past, get past all the boring coastal towns. Time to jog. Time to jog. Uh -oh, you hear this woman? I can't be bothered for that. Up the hill, it's the best, the best way to jog. She's full of beans this morning. They're my Karenna beans. Hey! Are you going to do the limbo? Go on. Oh. I've got a heavy bag. That would look really funny if it brought me down. <laughs> Call me crazy. Crazy. I might do... Because <laughs> I want to start, I want to actually start doing like barefoot walks a bit more because there's so much to suggest that it is actually really good for you. So I might go barefoot from here to the top of that cliff just for fun. Sure. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. Sorry people of YouTube that hate feet. <laughs> Even though we all have feet, you stupid b I'm going to do it, I think. Sorry, I to hold the camera. Oh, you're going to do some filming? I can if you want. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting to hold the camera now. It's really fun. <laughs> Whilst Jack here... Are we seeing Jack? I don't know. 
and Cameron wants to see me on because I'm so pretty. He's taken off his shoes a little bit. There, there, Jack is there. The camera doesn't like me. Uh, <laughs> Be careful, yeah. viewers. Jack's coming there. Let's do it. Oh, Pun, that does feel, unintended. <laughs> it does genuinely feel so nice, though. I can see why people do this. Yeah. Oh, the same shoe again. Oh, see, your shoes are begging to come <laughs> off and you want to go barefoot too. It's a little bit cool, so it keeps this nice on my feet. It's true. Yeah, we'll see if I'm still saying the same thing when we get to the top of that cliff there. Yeah, no, it should be nice. Like in childhood, we'd walk barefoot everywhere in the world. Yeah? Always. Yeah. It's a very nice thing. It's the only thing that ever puts me off doing stuff like this is like what other people might think of me but really I just Aww. need to not give a shite. Yeah, you see. So. It really, really doesn't matter. And we made it to the top. And my feet still feel nice. So, I'm not sure. Is this still salt beam? Um, or have we come further than that now? Let's see if we can find any side. What's good about this walk actually is once we get to New Haven um, New Haven's more or less the last big town for the for the duration of the walk until we get to Eastbourne but it's good because it's like almost bang on halfway Ooh. so we can stock up and everything on stuff we need but also it'll just be the walk will be way more beautiful from that point onwards That's cool. no more towns and probably a lot less people Thank you for joining me today, Gabby. Thank you. An Thank unexpected you. but very welcome surprise. Yeah, I'm so happy this was with me. <laughs>